Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I want to show you what happened uh, when I do not pay attention uh, when I'm cooking. Uh, the other day, uh, I was going to cook an egg dish. Uh, my wife was talking to me and uh, I was listening to what she was saying. Uh, the dish did not turn out very well uh, because I end up burning the egg to the wok. It was kind of embarrassing to me uh, because I'm supposed to be an expert in cooking in the wok. Uh, however, I thought this would be a good opportunity to demonstrate to you how things could go awry. And when you have a burned wok, uh, how did you clean it? Well, I was not too worried uh, because I have a method that I actually have the wok clean in about four minutes. Anyway, I thought this is a good case study to demonstrate how you can end up burning things in the wok. Uh, I was going to cook an egg omelette dish uh, with several different kinds of vegetables. I was going to cook a rather large omelette so it would be enough for everybody. I was using uh, my cook standard standard steel wok. Uh, I realized how important it is to season the wok when you cook eggs. Uh, so I did my spotted seasoning uh, method and I actually provide some extra time to let the oil to smoke. Uh, this will ensure the wok will be properly seasoned. Uh, instead of beating up the egg, uh, I crack the egg directly into the wok. Uh, since I'm planning to make a, a huge omelette, so I put in 8 eggs. Uh, as you can see here, it covers the entire flat surface of the wok. Uh, the reason I choose the cook stand wok is uh, because it has a larger flat surface. Uh, I spread the egg yolk throughout the surface of the egg. I let the egg to cook for about 20 to 30 seconds. I first add some chopped mushroom to the egg. Uh, this is followed by adding some onion. Uh, the last ingredients I'm going to add is scallion. And this is followed by add some of my basic seasoning mix. Uh, everything seems to be going so far so good. Uh, after to let the egg to cook some more, uh, then I see the egg is almost uh, about 75% cooked. Uh, I then decided I'm going to fold one side of the egg over the other side. Uh, here is I noticed that I am having problem uh, because the egg starts to feel stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, I then use this wok spatula, uh, do everything I can to get the egg free from the surface. I discovered that some part of the egg seems to be okay, but particularly in the middle of the egg, it definitely is sticking to the bottom of the wok. Uh, finally, I was able to get it loose, but it's very clear when I turn it over that it got burned. Uh, well, that did not work very well. Uh, this egg is pretty much ruined. Uh, I removed it from the stove and took it over the kitchen counter, and I finally able to get the egg out of the wok. Uh, this is what the egg looked like uh, with quite a bit of burn on the surface. My wife came by and looked at me uh, with an expression, how could you do this? Uh, I was wondering myself. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are quite a bit of burn material on the bottom of the wok. In the past, I would have been very frustrated because I know cleaning it is going to be a lot of work. Uh, but now I have this water boiling method for cleaning the wok, I was not too worried. Uh, I put the wok back on the stove and I add a small amount of water. Uh, I turn the stove back to high uh, and let the water to boil. Uh, I then use my wok spatula. Uh, most of the burn material was easily dislodged uh, by the wok spatula. Uh, the boiling water played a very important role uh, in softening the burn material. Uh, this allowed the wok spatula to easily uh, dislodge them. I then took the wok over to the sink and rinse it off. I brought it back to the stove and add some more water. Again, I let the water to boil and use the wok spatula to scrape off some of the remaining uh, burnt materials. Uh, by this time, I have cleaned off about 90% of all the material that have been burned to the surface of the wok. Uh, I then bring it over to the sink and use my wok brush. I was able to clean off the rest of it in just a few seconds. Uh, so now, now the question is that why I have things burned to the surface of the wok. I have cooked this dish many times in the past and I have no problem ever have the egg uh, stuck to the bottom of the wok and get burned. Uh, after thinking through it briefly, I realized what my problem is. Uh, normally, I turn the burner to higher setting while I am do my spot seasoning. 
Uh, and then I will turn the uh, burner setting to low uh, before I add the egg. Uh, my conversation with my wife, which I'm going to blame her, uh, distracted me, so I forgot to turn the burner back to low. Uh, so the end result is that I cook the egg at the highest setting of the burner. Uh, this causes the egg at the bottom, particularly in the center of the wok, to become burned. Uh, as I was standing there thinking about it, my wife came over and said to me, uh, are you going to make this again? Uh, I told her that uh, I am going to. I put the wok back on the stove and I add some canola oil, and then I spot season the wok like I normally do. Uh, so this time I did it correctly. Uh, I turned the stove setting to low. I did exactly the same thing. I cracked the egg directly into the wok. I then add different ingredients uh, to the egg. I cook the egg almost entirely in the low heat setting. Only toward the end, I turn the heat setting high up a little bit just to make it cook a little bit faster. As you can tell, this time I have no problem at all uh, having the egg stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, so as you can see, the seasoning of the wok works very well. I guess the lesson of this video is that it is very important to make sure you control your heat setting. And also, uh, you don't have to worry if things get burned to the bottom of the wok uh, because using the water cleaning method, uh, you can easily uh, clean it. But the stainless steel wok is probably the hardest wok to season. So what works in this particular case will work for all the other wok surfaces. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy watching this video, seeing the problem that I encounter. And if you find this video useful, uh, please click the like icon below. Uh, that will help me to extend the visibility of my YouTube channel. Uh, if you'd like to receive notification of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.